biggest lesson you learned about your team in this offseason would have been what? Well, I'll tell you this. Uh, we, we graduated a large number. We graduated 33, had uh, a four-star offensive lineman good IMG and lost another kid right there at the end of school. So we're down 35. But uh, I'll give this crowd credit. It's the most improved team over the summer I've had in my 32 years. And you mentioned IMG, so let me go there. How much of a concern is it for you as a coach when someone like an IMG comes knocking and knowing what they are? How much of a concern is that? I know it's great for the, great for the student athlete to be able to be looked at by an IMG, but how much of a concern is it for you as a coach to have uh, a kid go from Wayne County down to, to Central Florida and be a part of their program? I, I truly believe it depends on the kid. Um, you know, I, I'm not as crazy about the concept of IMG as I am uh, the kids going to college. Um, so, you know, if a kid's in a, in a bad situation, uh, doesn't have resources to, you know, get done what he needs to do, it may be a good situation, but, uh, you know, I don't know that's the case most of the time. So, uh, but as far as we're concerned, I mean, we're in the kid business. They come and go. You graduate kids every year, you lose kids, kids move, kids get hurt. But uh, for the kid, I just, you know, I think, I think family's big. You know, family's real important to what we do. And character ed's big and, uh, and academics is big. So, you know, we, we put family first and we put academics high on the list. And uh, football is just a, you know, it's a resource, it's an avenue to get a college education for some. Others, it's just to make memories and uh, memories, you know, for a lifetime. And uh, so, uh, to me, I, you know, I, I care more about the family and the team concept and, you know, getting my education and getting a good one. So, you know, I'm probably not the best person to ask. Um, but I, I do think there are situations where it could be good for someone. Nine and two to 11 and one. So then what are the expectations in year three of the administration? Well, you know, we're, our, our whole goal was to build a program. And uh, I think we've done that. We've, we've redone our weight room and we have a year-round program and, uh, and our kids play a lot of other sports. So our expectations are extremely high. Right now, a little chip on the shoulder, graduating that many, our kids want to prove that, you know, we have a program and, you know, our junior varsity, they've, they hadn't lost a game since we've been there and uh, they're waiting their turn and, it, and it's arrived. So it's time to, you know, you got to get out on the field and, and just, you know, let the community see that uh, they've been working for two years and show what they can do. It's their, their, their turn. So for those who've never been there, what does football mean to Wayne County? Wayne County is important. I mean, uh, football is important to Wayne County. I, it's, it's incredible. You know, I spent I spent 30 years looking for a place like this, and I've, I've enjoyed where I've been. But uh, one county, th these are th what makes it different. And there's a lot of places in Georgia like this, but one county, one school, it's rural. Um, there's not a, a, you know, a lot of things to do, but uh, they love their athletics, and they make no bones about it. And uh, Kids, I mean, the kids work so hard. It's such coachable kids, and they're not distracted. Uh, they're focused on, uh, you know, what they have at hand, and uh, which is, you know, being a part of a, a team and being a part of tradition. And uh, you know, it's a lot of fun winning back-to-back -back region championships and going undefeated regular season. And we just got to get past second round. And so uh, that's uh, that's kind of like the the theme right now is, uh, you know, to go further, do more. So when you look at your region again this year, having lost as many kids as you have, what do you see? It's going to be a good challenge because I think everybody in the region is better. Um, a lot of some turnover in coaching, um, and they didn't just bring in uh, ordinary coaches. They went out and they did a good job hiring the coaches. Um, got some really good ones. So um, we expect it to be a war every week in the region. It's going to be very competitive. Um, the thing I like about ours, we don't have the the depth we had, but I think our talent is uh, is as good. Um, I know it's the first time we're playing some guys both ways since for me since 2008. So uh, you know it takes a little adjusting to get used to doing that when you you know you can spend all your time on your side. Now you got to share. So and uh, we're having to learn. You know our coaches are. I guess we weren't taught as kids. You know well how to share. <laughs> so we're 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 battling a little bit. You know just feeling like we need more time. What's your biggest concern as a coach these days? Uh, you know, you know, just just the kids getting the right messages, and you know, I wish you know it's not everybody. Some parents do a real good job, but you know, I, I wish we had parenting classes. Um, and that sounds harsh, but uh, you know, we need to spend 
more time and, and don't assume things and with our kids and just make sure we're you know we're in touch with what's going on with them really uh, and making sure that we're we're still teaching you know the morals values you know the character we do character ed every day we do leadership training and we do a program called molding men so uh, that's that's top on our list is uh, helping these kids understand and you know and just how to be a part of a team and and finding what you're you know you're good at and make sure that you do your part and contribute and uh, get something out of it. So then if you were king for a day when it comes to football, would, would molding men be the one thing that you would change to make sure that that's a mandatory class for everybody? Or what was the one, what's the one thing that you would sit there and say, I'm king, this is what's going to change? Yeah, I think every program, you know, you know, I said a long time ago, I went to basic training back in oh, 19, what, 86 or something like that. And I uh, uh, always said, you know, every, every, everybody should have to go through basic training. It, it does nothing but make you a stronger person. Uh, I think every football program should have some type of molding men program. You know, they can call it what they want to, but um, you know, do character education and don't do it just in season. Uh, we start every day off with a, with some lessons, and it's not just about reading something or looking something up. It's got to it's got, a, it's got to touch you know their lives and what what's going on with them. You know, we got stuff out there on us right now, and uh, just we need to help them understand you know you know how to. You know, have a have a stand, but don't fight just for a cause. You know, you know, stand, fight for what you believe in, and try to be fair and good to everybody, and uh, just learn how to become a a, a real a good person.